guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog i literally just um edit uh ended the last one right here right now so we're in the same spot but i wanted to start a new one start fresh because if you did watch my last one then you'll know that my laptop broke and i had to get that fixed so that vlog was just a bit chaotic but this one is going to be so fun because i have a lot of fun things planned um so yeah first fun thing is it's friday night i don't have work tonight and i don't have work tomorrow during the day i do in the night but not a day um so that's exciting so i'm very excited about a nice chilled night in um yeah yeah the restaurant has now shut two days a week so it means i get tuesdays and wednesdays off um but i am doing a bit of housekeeping but it means that I can go on a Tuesday and rave. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's not the point of this part of the vlog. I got a little thing from Try Treats. I saw, who did I see that was trying it? Um, ah, oh, Sadie, she's on YouTube. Um, she has a little boy called oak fox oak oh, oakley i'm really doing bad at explaining this right now but anyways i saw her trying it and i was like oh my god i want to try it oh. so i'm just doing it once but i thought i would unbox with you guys because how fun in this vlog I don't know where to put you. I, this, I feel like this angle is not the best. Is that a bit better? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know what this flag is. I feel like I really should know. It's Thailand. <laughs> okay, so this is all from Thailand, which is so thin because obviously I'm going to go to Thailand. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. Oh my God, there's so much. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. So you get like a little thing. Explore Thailand. Did you know Thailand facts? Um, the climate is tropical. You would know that. Uh, did you know? Oh yeah, here we go. I'm going to tell you a fact. Thailand is the only Southeast Asian country that was never colonised by a European country. This is why Thailand is called Prathet or land of the free oh, love that little fact that's great and it's got a recipe for thai iced tea oh well i might have to try that as well um another little thing that says welcome to thailand and then this is what explains everything that's in it but i'm just gonna go through it and maybe we'll try a few things i'm not gonna try everything because there is a lot in here i don't even know if you can see um There is a lot. Um, I'll go for it. I feel like this is already chaotic. Why is my life so chaotic at the minute? Oh, fuck me. I'm just going to take like a little photo of this. I will go for it all day. Right. Chicken sticks. I don't know if I can eat them fish sauce oh man i can't eat them okay i can't eat these because they've got fish sauce in them i see lobster oh god am i going to be able to eat these either Look. yeah they don't actually have s fish okay they do you know this is really good still okay what are these Ha! Rasa caramel flavor. Is this cereal? This looks like cereal. Look. This looks like cereal to me. And it's in a bowl. Is it cereal? Huh. Okay. Oh, I can go back to this thing. Um. Ah, oh, okay. You soggy puff caramel by Dua Calencia is a caramel flavored snack that's puffy in texture and light. 
least a wheat in taste. This tree is made with whole wheat, which makes it a healthy and nutritious tree that is loved by children in Thailand. Wow, we love that. Should we try this? Oh, oh my god, I can't even get it open. Let me. Okay, let's give this a go. We like a healthy snack. Okay, so they're little like. Oh, they smell really good. They look like rice puffs. They smell. Oh, it's a bit like popcorn. It tastes a bit like cam caramel popcorn. Oh, that's delightful, actually. Oh, no. That's actually quite delicious. They're a 10 out of 10. Mm, maybe not a 10 out of 10, but they are good. Okay. We've got loads of these little like cappuccino candies. Old school YouTube right here. Why is it not focusing on that? It's literally the only thing that's in this fucking thing. Oh, anyway, cappuccino candy. Hard candies with the smooth rich cappuccino flavours. Oh my god, four to five of these is one cup of coffee. But I'll try these at the end because otherwise I'm going to be stuck in them and that's going to be annoying. Mango gummies. I fucking love mango things. Oh my god, look. It's just like a fresh cat mango. They are delightful. They are actually 10 out of 10. Okay, yes. Triple M stick. Spicy. Vegetarian. Okay. Okay. What's this then? Oh, is it like seaweed? No, I'm not a fan of that one actually. That's horrible. What's this? Bento. Squid seafood snack. Again, probably not going to be able to eat it. What do you like? Yep, yeah, squid. Ooh, that's grim. Um, what I like about these is actually a lot of them have the English nutrition facts on them. So you can actually see like what's in it and stuff. Okay, we've got some wafers. Okay, so we've got two wafers. Let's see what these say. Oh, we've got a chocolate wafer and a cream wafer. I know what wafers taste like. Let's try the cream one, but I'm not going to try the other one just because I don't want to waste it. Um, let me try this one. Your standard wafer, but it's good. And then the last one, which I know I like. Oh, and then I will try cappuccino candy. The last one I know I like. Pokey. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll probably end up being my favourite thing. Okay, and then lastly, let's try this cappuccino candy. A bit confused by this actually. Oh, that's cool. It's got like the oh, it's giving me like Werther's original vibe. That is like a Werther's original, but cappuccino flavored. Um, not the biggest fan of uh, Werther's original, but it's all right. So that was fun actually. Unboxing all of that. Oh, and now I've got some little sweets and treats to have um right that's gonna be annoying in my in this video for me to edit and for you to watch so yeah i have got a bit of tidying up i need to do uh also all my lunch stuff from today Got luck. and then we'll see where the evening takes us it's friday night and i we got 
six free drinks from work um, because the guests leave them in the room. So then housekeepers get them. So I'm gonna sit on the balcony and drink my little cider. I got a whole heap of stuff. I think I've got another one of these, two four X's, a mini bottle of wine and a seltzer. So I'm gonna have one of these on the balcony. And yeah, I've watched some Dynasty. With Dynasty, Dynasty, Dynasty. Um, because the see the last season is out and I'm really loving it. So I'm gonna do that for a little bit and I think that's gonna be really nice to just relax. I've made a big bowl of pesto pasta with vegan mints. That's what that is. <clears throat> um it's a little while later now. I've just been chilling and I had to go to the shop for my friend because he's ill. And I'm watching Dynasty and oh yeah. I don't know if I'll eat this all because it's quite a lot. Um, but yeah, and I'm still pretty f like full up from the snacks earlier, even though I didn't even eat that much. But yummy! Wow, she's so sexy. Doing a little face mask. Um, I'm doing the ordinary. Um, feeling beautiful. And I've also just put this colour on my toenails. Having a full hamper evening because I think it's really necessary actually. And I'm loving it. Like, oh, not being at work is heaven. Heaven. I can't wait until I don't have an evening job anymore. <laughs> Three weeks. Three weeks. I'm going to just let this do its thing have a yogurt and a cup of tea and go to bed so i'll pick you up tomorrow okay, happy saturday for me um happy whatever day it is for you i have just finished f45 training which is like interval team training um and it was really good it's my second session but i just signed up for like a two week trial deal so i'm gonna be going to a bit lot um, and I'm very excited about it. I also got protein sample for free. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, feeling very good. That was at half eight. It's now like, I want to say quarter to ten. Yeah, quarter to ten. So I'm going to go home, shower, have some breakfast. And I've got a few bits to do. And then hopefully it's going to get sunny today so we can go sit by the lagoon. Because what else do I do? back from the lagoon hoping that i've caught a bit of sun today maybe yeah um but yeah i'm back from the lagoon that was glorious um and before that i just spent the morning like editing and just doing a few bits and pieces so yeah i've had a really good day i have work in like two hours I'm FaceTime my parents like in like an hour. I'm going out after work. Uh, I'm going to a bush party, which is like a secret rave on the beach, which is exciting. Um, I've never been to one, but when in Oz, why not? So yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I mean, I will have some time after work to like freshen up and stuff. So I might not fully get ready now, but yeah. And then I'm going to face my parents in like an hour. So, yeah. I will... I don't know what, actually, because I don't know how ready I'm going to get. I obviously I won't be fully ready, but I will show you like after work and stuff, me fully ready. And I'll probably put a little clip of me FaceTiming my parents in. But then after that, it's going to switch my phone because obviously I'm not going to take a camera out with me tonight. And we'll see what clips we get. We know by now, if you are a regular watcher of my vlogs, that I am not very good at filming on nights out. Um, mainly because I just, I'm just having too much fun, you know? So we'll see. But I'm hoping I will get some clips because it is my first ever bush party. So... God, I'm hot. Right, I'm all done with work and I do have like a little, oh, 
Look at that. Oh my god. You know earlier when I was like, oh I don't even know if I've caught the sun. <laughs> okay, next time I go in the sun I'm gonna have to wear this top because Okay, wow, that was not the point of me coming on here. Um I finished work, I'm just gonna finish getting ready. I can even put concealer in like everything on. Um but also I got some of these because I need a little chocolate break. So I thought I'd try them on the camera because I've not actually tried them yet. So hold on. I'll let me open these bad boys. Oh my god, they smell amazing. They smell amazing. Ooh. Okay, it's like the taste of aero but creamy. That is so good. Right. I'm gonna finish getting ready. Oh. What do I do about this situation? Because I was going to wear this. We'll figure this out. Maybe I'll have to put some foundation on there. I mean, it is going to be dark, but... <laughs> oh, and I was like, oh, I haven't caught the sun really today. Nope, nope, you definitely have. Sorry, I just keep showing you my chest because I'm just like... <laughs> um, right. Yeah. And I'll show you when I'm done. Oh, God. Okay, I am ready. And I decided to go with this. And then just some little black shorts and my black Converse. And I'll take my little, my little bag, I reckon. Um, yeah. We're just, we're ignoring the chest. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah. My makeup. Do you know what? My skin is going for a time. So, that's a problem. But, yeah. I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna switch into my um, to my phone and hopefully show you some clips. morning it is not sunday it is actually monday because basically yesterday i was just dead all day so let's do a little recap of the bush diff so <clears throat> we went to maggie's first and just had me and lauren shared a jug and then we went to the bush diff at like midnight um and it was maybe like a 10 minute drive and then we had to walk like 15 20 minutes to get to the beach which was rough and i fell over <coughs> oops um so yeah and then it was just like a rave on a beach i was kind of drunk but i accidentally smoshed smashed a whole bottle of wine i was absolutely fuming with myself what an idiot um and yeah i think we left at like 3 30 got home at like four um and it was good but i will couldn't I wasn't drunk enough and then I was always conscious that I had work at half eight the next morning so I wouldn't rush back maybe if I didn't have work the next day and I'd planned it a bit better and not smashed a whole bottle of wine I would have enjoyed it a bit more um so yes but you know I'm glad I went and experienced one and then yeah like i said i had to ha work half eight till four yesterday and then i actually went to the restaurant at half five but i went home after an hour i was so tired and i'd worked 43 hours that week and oh yeah um and then last night it was and then yeah it was my friend liam's last night at work and we got actually like a little group photo i went back um so i'll put that in here and then i just went for a few drinks with him even though i was so tired but i didn't go out out and i was home by like 
half 11. Had a line this morning, I don't have work today. Um, and I've been on my run and showered and stuff. But super exciting, I'm doing the flight over the Great Barrier Reef today. And I'm so excited, it's gonna be so, so good. So now that I'm all ready, I'm gonna go have some breakfast and then we'll get to the flight. So exciting. I've just got home um, and I've got changed into something a bit more comfier and warmer because it's raining so there's no sitting down by the lagoon or anything I mean it is 10 to 4 so it wouldn't be that hot anyway but it would anyways beside the points it's raining so I'm just gonna have a chilled after like rest of the afternoon slash evening here which is actually what I need um, but that was incredible as you have seen on the video, we saw all the islands, I saw Airly, I s Proserpine, you saw the reef and the heart-shaped reef, which is so cool and obviously so, so famous. Um, and it was just incredible. The plane <laughs> was one of the small ones, as you would have seen. And at points it was like, really like turbulent. And obviously because it's such a small plane you feel it 10 times more than you would in like a normal plane so at points i was like but it's fine i'm not a scared flyer or anything like that but yeah it was so fun it was so so beautiful it was so clear and oh yeah it was just absolutely incredible to get to see the great barrier reef from that angle so i would definitely recommend i went with gsl but I know you can do it with other companies as well. That was just the cheapest one that I found. And it was $259. So like £148. Um, but I think it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so, yeah. Like I say, I'm just going to actually chill for the rest of the evening, if I'm being honest. Um... So if I get up to anything, I will let you know. But if not, then I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I have just been to my F45 training. Um, I had it at 6.15 and I've got changed and everything. And I'm ready to go to work this morning. It's like eight, so I need to start walking in a minute. Um, but I reckon I'm gonna, I reckon I'm gonna um, 
meet up with Lauren and the car and stuff. So yeah, let's go to work and then it's Tuesday, so it's ladies night. I'm actually here completely honest yet because I haven't vlogged since this morning. Um, but to be honest, when I got home, I literally like washed my hair, packed because I have to remove rooms tomorrow, hopefully. Um, well, I have to move rooms by Thursday, but I'm hoping I can do it tomorrow because I have work on Thursday. Um, so yeah, and then I got ready, had some dinner, and then now I'm off to Lauren and Souls to pre drink a little bit. This is what I'm wearing. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna promise I'm gonna film anything because let's be real, I probably won't. Morning, guys. I promised I wouldn't film anything, and lo and behold, I did not film anything. I'm just, oh, I don't know, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I just have too much of a good time, and then I forget to film, but realistically, it's the same every week, it is the same, so, really, there's nothing different, you know, we get our three, three glasses of Prosecco, we drink them, we see everyone, we go to Paddy's, we go to Boom, although I didn't go to Boom last night because I just wasn't feeling it, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me last night but I got into Boom and was like, I'm not feeling this, so I just went home, and that's called character growth I think, <laughs> anyways this morning I have moved out of my room, into a new room, and sorry, this necklace is really annoying me, all tangled oh, I'll sort it out in a minute no right sorry about that um <clears throat> yeah moved out of my room moved into room 20 um I don't know why I'm telling you the room number it's not gonna make any difference to you but yeah I've moved rooms I've done and my washing is now hanging out to dry so that's usually my Wednesday job also my Wednesday job is my food shopping so I'm gonna do that at some point today but I need to go and have some breakfast because I'm absolutely starving um, and it's like half ten and I've not eaten yet um, so yeah I'm gonna go have some brekkie and then I'll probably get ready and then I'll do my food shopping I have done absolutely nothing today I did my food shopping and then I've literally sat in bed all day because it's been cloudy so I couldn't even go and sunbathe so I have literally done nothing and to be honest, it's been glorious. I watched the newest episode of the Georgia Shore reunion. I've watched the Dynasty. I've watched a documentary about um, mums having their babies taken away from them, like by the social services. It's been glorious. I'm now on my way to my workout class. Not sure I'm ready for this hungover, but we're gonna do it anyway and we're gonna smash it. Finished my workout class and it was really good, I loved it. And my shift tonight's been cancelled, which is annoying, but do you know what? I'm in the last two weeks of this, of being here, so I'm just not even bothered anymore. Um, so I'm gonna make some nice dinner and just have a very chilled night in. So I'll show you my dinner. Um, and then yeah, we're just going to chill. Dinner time, <laughs> yummy. I'm so this is better, by the way. Yum. Dinner was delicious. And to be honest, just what I needed. Because I've been eating a lot of like noodles, rice and pasta lately. Just because A, it's cheap and B, it's easy. Um, so having a little something different was good. Um, if you're wondering what's on my face, it's spot cream because my face is horrendous. If you know any tips, let me know. I'm going to literally drink my cup of tea, watch Dynasty, and then try and get an early night and hope that there's no snores in this room. It's got work early, so... Hey guys, I have not vlogged all day because I've been at work all day. I had a workout class at 10 to 7. And then I went straight to housekeeping and I've just got back and showered and I'm in my hogs uniform, ready to go to work in like an hour and a half. 
so yeah um update the room was pretty silent um so i'm pretty happy i got a good amount of sleep um so yeah thrilled to be honest i think i got less sleep because i'm not used to being on the top bunk um and this one's really noisy like can you hear it so every time you move even slightly it makes so much noise so i think i was very very conscious of that but apart from that i had great sleep so that's good um yeah i'm literally going to be going to work 5 30 till close so i'll speak to you tomorrow hi guys so i'm very sorry about this lighting um it is dark didn't vlog again did i let me catch up on my day so basically i went to f45 training this morning at 7 6 50 i then got an iced coffee because there's the cafe 3 1 next door um which if you saw my witch sunday's tour that's the place that me and lindsay were we love it there it's so nice right. i got a little iced coffee because i just fancied it you know and i had that on the way to work and then worked all day and today we actually got pizza for lunch they don't usually provide our lunch but today they did and it was very very nice actually to be honest um and it was a nice little treat to have um yeah then carried on working and came home and just chilled for a bit and then i've just literally got a facetime to Lindsay. i've been facetiming her for like literally like two hours um and it's like eight o'clock now i'm gonna have a bit of dinner um not loads to be honest i'm not actually that hungry i might just have like a piece of toast and some falafel or something um and then i'm just gonna honestly chill in bed and go to sleep because i have training at 6 a.m tomorrow which means i need to get up at half five um so that's really fun and exciting so yeah i'm very sorry that i have not vlogged much today and tomorrow i have work i have housekeeping and then i have the restaurant so probably not gonna vlog tomorrow but i will vlog sunday as the last day of this vlog so i'll see you on sunday Good morning guys it's sunday morning um and i am up and out and ready to go i washed my hair this morning oh also i bought this little bralette yesterday it's like the purple one but white obviously um i'm taking myself up for breakfast i was gonna go out for breakfast with my two friends but I think they're hung they're hungover um, and still asleep, so I'm starving. It's like half eleven, so I'm just gonna go out. Um, I didn't go out last night because honestly, I was just exhausted. I was so tempted, and then I was, oh, do you know what? I don't want to drink, and I can't really be asked to deal with drunk people. I'm just gonna stay in and sleep, and that's exactly what I did. And I'm actually very thankful that I did that. So yeah, I'm gonna go take myself for a little brekkie i'm very excited about it and then we're gonna tan all day because it's really sunny hi god it's, cafe. it's really cute uh, it's got a really nice little menu actually um yeah i've just ordered so i'll show you what i got when i ordered my right. order when it comes i mean i got actually the halloumi roll of vegetable and bacon so yeah, that should be nice. I'm just sat in the sun. That one really good. I'm so excited to get to my mouth into this. It's weird, isn't it? That breakfast was absolutely, let me just pause this song. Um, that breakfast was absolutely delightful. I'm well worth the money. It was only $16 for that halloumi roll. It was beautiful, so nice, filled me up. Um, I'm very happy about that. It's very sunny right now, so I've just got my bikini on and I'm going to sunbathe, to be honest, because we need to be topping up that tan, especially if we're going to Melbourne where it's not sunny. So, this is how I'm going to spend the rest of my afternoon. Home 
home from the lagoon and that was absolutely glorious. It's like half four now. Um, I think I've got a bit of colour today, which is good. Um, I'm now going to sit and just chill and charge my phone, have a cup of tea and a little, you know them five one chocolate bar things? I can't, it's in my bag somewhere. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I can't find it, but yeah, I'm going to have that because I'm a little bit peckish and I'm FaceTiming my parents my sister and Ethan are like sick so I'm not going to be able to eat dinner until after that so I need a little snack right now but I also went to the shop and just bought a couple of things so most important thing oh, just because I was there I got my wine for Wednesday Moscato always literally always get Moscato and just because I can drink it really really easily I also picked up this protein bar so it's a mousse low carb cookies and creams bar I tried the chocolate one and it was glorious so I wanted to try the cookies and cream one and it was on a deal and then the last thing I got was this fudge professional clean blonde damage rewind shampoo um, I'm running out of my purple shampoo so I need to get some more and I thought this was an offer for like $16 and I thought I always have to spend a little bit more on my purple shampoo and I know that I really like fudge because it's what I used to have at home. So yeah, there are the few bits I picked up. I'm gonna literally, yeah, like I said, charge my phone um, and probably start putting these clips onto my laptop and stuff and then we'll FaceTime my parents.